Welcome everyone to It's Vinyly Mine. So glad you could join us once again as we count down to Halloween. Got some more horror vinyl for you today. Some more fresh horror vinyl from the collection. This one is the original motion picture soundtrack to A Summer. Now, A Summer is a film came out by Ari Aster. Very a bit controversial, I say, not only within its content, uh, but also some people actually debating whether or not it's true horror or not. I'm not sure if that debate's rather valid. I I think it's a horror film, definitely a psychological horror film. <laughs> and so uh, I really enjoyed the film. So I'm very excited to take a look at this vinyl, see what they did for the cover and the sleeve and everything about it. And uh, also hear the soundtrack to see how this pressing is. Now, uh, this is a from a Milan record label and it is MLN 137089. Now, the MLNI one was actually had the uh, Queen Mary Green vinyl color, uh, the colored vinyl, and that was limited to 500. Uh, this one is not that. I, I believe this one just has the regular black vinyl in it, but we'll find out, uh, cause I haven't quite, I all I do is take the wrap off. I haven't really looked at this too much. So, uh, let's uh, drop the needle and take a look at this, a uh, very interesting, uh, cover to a very interesting soundtrack to a pretty wild movie. So here we are with Midsommar, uh, the original motion picture score from uh, Bobby uh, Krillick, also known as the Haxon Cloak. I love that name. That's an awesome name, the Haxon Cloak. Uh, you could do so many things with that name. And and so, yeah. And uh, we, they basically kept it very simple uh, and, and kind of creepy, though, still. Uh, just like the movie, you know. Uh, here you have the symbols. If you saw the film at all, uh, you would recognize these symbols that were from the film and played a part in uh, the ritual uh, that was displayed in the film. And, in fact, we have a depiction of uh, the ritual uh, that the townsfolk in Mid summer, um, uh, you know, we're trying to uh, perform uh, while these uh, college kids ended up showing up in uh, their uh, their village. So, yeah, I love the artwork in here. They kept it simple, yet some really great designs in here, though, the, the artwork uh, that is done in here with the uh, uh, brush strokes and such. I just is very interesting, and I really like that quite a bit. And of course, the font, uh, which is the same font that we saw on the poster. Now, as far as the back goes yeah they're keeping it simple again here folks uh just the track listing and credits and uh yeah uh, you know you kind of giving it that that uh i don't know like on stone tablet type feel an ancient type feel where they're going with here a couple more symbols uh, from the film and yeah uh, they're really uh kept it uh, not too involved for the cover design yet i still think it's very effective and very fitting for the film uh that the soundtrack's from now let's take a look at the inside of uh, this and check this out this is a wonderful mural, uh, very reminiscent from what you saw in the film. Uh, great artwork in here, very creepy artwork uh, depicting events that, yeah, we ended up seeing uh, many of these things happen within the film. So it's a, it's basically the story of the film in, uh, in art form, in, in a mural form. And I, this is, I'm very impressed. I did not quite expect that in the middle. And yeah, I, I'm loving the quality from the, the throne, the creepy, creepy sun guy here. Uh, yeah, it's got it all right here. So very impressive for the gatefold. Now, uh, let's check the sleeve inside and see what the sleeve looks like. Well, uh, on the back, oh, we're going to have to probably blur that out, folks. Uh, a little bit of a naughty drawing on uh, the sleeve, uh, but you have the thanks here from the composer. Again, keeping it kind of basic with it, but still, uh, all of it has that feel and almost a bit of uh, that, that character uh, that you saw uh, from uh, the townsfolk in uh, the film. And then, uh oh, <laughs> blurry. I got it. <clears throat> ah, um, yeah. Uh, so there's some naughty, uh, some very mature artwork on uh, the uh, sleeve of this vinyl as well. Uh, very well done for sure, I will say, but I don't necessarily want to get kicked off of uh, YouTube here. So let's just say uh, it's uh, definitely a more mature uh, depiction of uh, some female forms, which if you saw the film, you know, uh, that is also what was shown 
in uh, the movie. Now, uh, as far as what the vinyl looks like, it is the basic black vinyl, but check it out. We've got that wonderful artwork that we saw on the gatefold is also on the label. They decided to abandon having the track listing on here and instead it just went for uh, the creepy artwork. So, uh, and, and yeah, I, I kind of dig that. I kind of dig that approach. Uh, you know, you'll have to look at the, um, you're going to have to look at the back of the uh, LP cover in order to see what the track listing is, but that's okay because I rather would have the artwork here because it's very fitting. Now, uh, we're going to take a short break, and when we come back, I'll let you know how this pressing sounds as well as my favorite track on it. So uh, stick around, folks. we got a lot more to come. Hey everyone, you want to help us decide what we review here on It's Vinally Mine? Then head on over to www.patreon.com slash specialmarkproductions. It's our Patreon page where we have three great tiers for you to join. If you join our top tier, you get early access to all the videos we post on YouTube. Plus, you get to participate in a poll to decide on what we review on It's Vinally Mine. And you get a poll to decide what the VIP episode will be for the month exclusively for our patrons we got a lot of great content there so head on over there and we hope to see you soon hey everyone we're back and yes i just got done listening to this soundtrack and let me tell you it is just as creepy and disturbing and beautifully haunting as it was when i watched it in the theater i loved the pressing of this the sound quality is great good organic feel to it uh, there was no flaws in any of the tracks that i listened to and it really did take me back to the film i mean it, it's just this sound that encompasses you and holds you there it, you could close your eyes and just listen to this music you even if you didn't see the movie and i think you could really enjoy the uh the the entire the entire score now as far as uh my favorite tracks on here well I love the whole music uh, uh, collection of music, just like I did enjoy the film. But if I had to pick one, I would probably have to pick the Harga uh, Collapsing. It's a very eerie, creepy uh, tune that sneaks up on you. And it's got a great uh, just horror vibe and perfect listening for this horror season. And of course, uh, the Fire Temple track is a longer track that is also another one of that just kind of creeps up on you. It, it's this beautiful music. And then underneath, there's this kind of just tone that starts to build and build and really builds up some uh you, you know uh, just uneasiness in you and I, I love that very fitting for the film and it's a great soundtrack to just listen to so yeah that is the midsummer of vinyl I want to thank you for listening to me talk about this vinyl. Very interesting score. And uh, yeah, check it out and check out the movie as well. It's visually stunning, let me tell you. But there are some extreme scenes in there as uh, the sleeve in uh, to, to this vinyl may imply it is not for those who may uh, be bothered by some nudity so uh, there you have it please check out our patreon as well and help us decide what we're going to review on it's vinyl mine i thank you for your support please comment and uh, hit thumbs up and all that fun stuff subscribe to our youtube channel and remember until next time it's not yours it's vinyl mine and i'll catch you on the flip side mm -hmm.